All right, welcome back to the Kirk Cousins throws three picks and loses us a game simulator. Um, last episode, we ended up losing to the Raiders 30 to 17, falling to 10 and 3 on the season, which opens up the possibility of the Lions still taking the division. Now, we would have to lose four in a row and they would have to win four in a row. So it's very, very unlikely. And we face them next week after this Bengals game. So if we win that game against the Lions, we will clinch a playoff spot. But that is is in week 16 we are worried about week number 15 right now against the Bengals. we're gonna go with plus two speed for the free time uh we are going to go with probably the excel we'll go with the acceleration we'll get plus whatever maybe not get any acceleration um we are going to go with plus three max stamina even though stamina is not really an issue and for extra recovery we are going to go with um, we'll go with plus two max stamina and plus one agility and we are going up against the five and eight Bengals. They are going to miss the playoffs Disappointing season for them. Yeah, they're going to miss the playoffs uh, We are currently sitting at the two seed the Cowboys have taken over the one seed after our loss to the Raiders So this is a must-needed win Bengals aren't good and let's see if we can get back that number one spot and maybe clinch a playoff spot if the Lions lose here we go at Paycor Stadium. I guess that's the name of the uh, Bengals Stadium. Joe Burrow and the Bengals having a disappointing year. Five and eight looking to miss the playoffs. Going up against the Vikings who just came off a devastating loss against the Raiders. Looking to bounce back here in Cincinnati. Let's get it going. All right, let's not let this Bengals record deter us from the fact that they are a still a really good team they may be five and eight but this team has been to the afc championship twice has been to super bowl once and has been to the playoffs every year besides joe burrow's rookie year so they are no joke especially defensively obviously not as good as their offense but the defense is not terrible they have probably about an average defense the defensive line has a little bit to be desired but it will be a tough game, especially knowing Kirk Cousins and his uh, tendencies, if I may say. We're going to switch this to the left side, um, see if they can keep their blocks. Justin Jefferson does not keep his. I do not get the juke on Mike Hilton. And speaking of Mike Hilton, he is down with an injury as we get a second and seven. We're going we're gonna to put the rock in Chris, um, Chris Paul in Kirk Cousins' hands, see if he can get anything done. And he's not, but... I'm going to call for the ball. Wide open. Big run after the catch. 27-yard reception, and that's a first down. Kirk Cousins is so far having a strong start to this game. I'm going to swap this to the left side because those two. Oh, he ended up backing off. I'm going to get a loss of three. Trey Hendrickson with the tackle. He doesn't have a superstar ability, really? That seems a bit odd. He's one of the better ends in the league. Uh, I could have swore he was a superstar last season, but I guess not this season. I'm going to sit and block, and KJ Osborne wide open. He's not going to get in the end zone a yard short for Osborne. That's that's tough. We're going to, ooh, 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 ooh. They're pressing up. I'm calling their bluff. They're going to back up. I'm calling their bluff. CJ Lewis in the end zone. That's a touchdown, Vikings. We're going to take an early 7 nothing lead up against the Bengals in their home field the Bengals get points they end up making a field goal seven to three is the score um cj lewis gonna get a good run there second and inches so far not the greatest game only seven rushes for 24 yards but i do have a touchdown my drive goal is four plus attempts on the ground so they're gonna try and get that done this conversion here would be big juke oh i get caught by number 32 but that is a big first down third and five. Oh, they're pressing jay jettas don't mind if i do kirk launch it baby justin jefferson wide open he's gonna get caught he stiff arms a dude and he's in the end zone touchdown vikings justin jefferson breaks free of his defender stiff arms another it is in the end zone for the touchdown. Great pass by Kirk Cousins right on the money. There he is. Number 20 dives. And then 23 gets stiff-armed. And Jefferson keeps his feet in bounds. And that's a touchdown. 
third down and six after a four yard completion the KJ Osborne and Kirk is gonna throw it up not the pass you want there and we're gonna have a fourth down Burrow and the Bengals go down the field get another field goal on the board 235 left in this first half I'm gonna break through that little gap juke directly into Justin Jefferson get about nine yards I'm gonna run the screen here on first and ten I'm gonna get open no one blocks but I juke out two guys and get about nine yards in the air what a move by CJ Lewis they want us to keep running that we're not gonna just we're not just gonna keep running that. that's just not we're not gonna spam it CJ is gonna be open he's gonna take it he's gonna take a hit but that's gonna get us a first down we're gonna run the same play here the defense is gonna be discombobulated Kirk like the goddamn ball please right here Kirk right here wide open I'm gonna truck a man get the oh I don't get the first down we're gonna call a timeout a touchdown here would go a long way we're gonna go with another halfback screen it's it was working and it's gonna continue to work CJ Lewis Jukes a man, gets to the inside. We're going to have to call another timeout, though. First and 10, 32 seconds left. Going to run a little mesh play here. See if CJ can get open. He does. And it's overthrown. It's a bad, bad overthrow by Kirk Cousins. That very well could have been a touchdown. We're going to kick it back to me again. Juke. See? Look at it. We're going to call another timeout. That is our last one. So that kind of inhibits our ability to run the football here. But second and two. I have faith Justin Jefferson can get open. Let's see. Kirk, will he make the right read? He, TJ Hawkinson. Touchdown! Viking Kirk Cousin makes the proper lead. He gives it to TJ Hawkinson. And we're going to go up right, behind, right, right before halftime. Oh my god, he got to pick six off of that. Oh my god, he got to pick six off of that. Oh my god. I didn't think he'd get a pick, DJ Turner. I didn't, one, I didn't think Kirk would throw it into double coverage. I was just trying to throw a throwaway play. And he gets a pick six off of it. Wow, that's just straight awful. How they got a pick six off of that. They didn't go for two. Kirk. Yeah, you got Justin Jefferson again. Redeem yourself. Kirk Cousins. Gives it to Jay Jettis. He's going to beat the man to the outside. No, he doesn't. He gets down to the one. Damn, that pick, that pick six hurts, dude. It, it hurts. There, there was no reason for it. We're going to give the ball to C.J. Lewis. Been a little bit. Hasn't really done much so far. And he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Just see the defense keep doing what they're doing and hold the Bengals. And, yeah, the defense let us down. They allowed a touchdown and a two-point conversion, so that is not um, good. I'm going to try and truck a man. I do not go through him, and that's a second and six. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. All right, start of the fourth quarter, second and six. Yeah, that play did not go as planned. Number 32 did not fall for it. Unblocked. We still somehow get about three yards out of it, which is a positive third and three. It's big deciding to run here, but we're going to put – the ball in the hands of our playmaker, C.J. Lewis. That's why he's an MVP candidate right there. Gets the first down. That one right there is huge. We're going to go to the weak side once again, which actually might be the strong side. Kirk Cousins hiked the goddamn ball, and we're going to get a tackle for loss. And we went, we went backward again. Third and 13 now after two negative plays for the Vikings. Not good at all I'm not going on this route brother ain't no way I'm going on this route right here and Kirk Cousins with no protection gets sacked and our defense lets up and allows a Bengals score not good whatsoever the Bengals have full momentum here our defense is really letting us down Kirk that was an unnecessary pass and you got TJ Hawkinson hurt because of it we're gonna go with the screen right now they're all on the left side of the field right here Kirk that can be a big gain. Juke. I'm going to go up the middle. I do not. Big game there for C.J. Lewis. We need to hurry the hell up, though, because we do not have much time. Justin Jefferson is going to be on a streak. Get, get, I, I, can't put, I can't put him on a streak route because of their momentum. 
Right here, Kirk. Up the middle. If I can't put Jay Jettis on the streak route, I'm going to do it myself. CJ Lewis. Big catch there. Right here. Right here, Kirk. I catch it. I don't hold on. Madden. I possession caught it. We got to go for it. I possession caught that, and I didn't hold on. That's not good. They are going to be pressing Justin Jefferson, I think. Kirk, it's all in your hands, buddy. It's all in your hands, buddy. Justin Jefferson wide open. He does get it to the end zone, but he gets just enough. Gets down to the two-yard line. What a play by the best receiver in the NFL, Justin Jefferson. Let's see if C.J. Lewis can cap off this drive with a touchdown. He doesn't. Oh, my God. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Hike the ball. Hike the ball, Kirk. Hike the ball, Kirk. Hike the ball, Kirk. C.J. Lewis in the end zone. He gets in there. Touch down, Vikings. The game is all tied up. The Bengals have 47 seconds left to score and all three timeouts. Let's see. Do they score? No. We go into overtime, and we will start with... The ball we are not in the playoffs so that means if we score a touchdown that is game over and they're already pressing justin jefferson already where's kj osborne kj osborne you will not be on a streak route you can go on a slant brother you can go on a slant let's see if justin jefferson can game it justin jefferson wide open he holds on he gets down to the 49 i will take it this Bengals defense came in with a plan and it was to stop CJ Lewis, I'm putting myself on the other side of the field because, uh, or not, I'm not allowed to. Okay, whatever, I guess I'm not allowed to. Right here, open. CJ, you can stop me on the ground, but you can't do both. CJ Lewis with the big reception. 148 receiving yards for CJ Lewis. You can stop him on the ground, but if you do that, you're going to leave him open for the passing game. CJ Lewis gets one yard, bro. This is tough. Justin Jefferson, wide open. Justin Jefferson, he can't get free. Oh, my God. Jay Jettas was just waiting for one. One. I don't think he's been in the end zone yet. We just need one for you to break free and get in the end zone. Can CJ end it? He does not. He gets down to the three-yard line. We are going to go for it. I do not like this play call whatsoever. CJ Lewis in the end zone. Game. The Vikings. Take out the Bengals in overtime. The trap game does not get to us. We win and we clinch the NFC North with this victory in the Lions loss. CJ Lewis, four touchdowns on the ground, barely gets the ball over. After a big Justin Jefferson play on both in overtime and in the fourth quarter, the Vikings are victorious. And there's the stats for CJ. 29 attempts, 95 yards, four touchdowns, and 177 receiving yards. Not a great game on the ground, but an amazing game in the air. Final stats, Kirk Cousins had a pretty decent game besides that pick. 21 of 27, 360 and two touchdowns. That pick is the only blemish on his uh, stats, and that's honestly my fault for calling the passing play. Joe Burrow had an amazing game. Our defense could not hold him. 19 to 24, 276 and three touchdowns. Rushing wise, I had three yards per carry, but I did have four touchdowns on the ground. And then receiving wise, this duo right here. Justin Jefferson, six catches, 179 yards and a touchdown. And CJ Lewis, 12 receptions, 148 yards. Unbelievable game by the Vikings. We move to 11 and three and clinch the NFC South. We will be in the playoffs. Next week, we go up against the Lions. And then I believe there's two more games after that and the season's over. We head to the playoffs. That's it for me. GG.